what's up guys welcome back to the channel hey man uh driving around in the 2019 tesla model 3 performance and uh had it maybe three weeks and man i love it, it I, when i get in something else i'm like you know don't know how to drive <laughs> you know it's weird because i'm doing uh, uh one pedal so that that is extremely still weird but now it's like you know I, i'm used to it but it's still weird especially when i get back in another vehicle uh but i i maybe once we'll have to use the brake while i'm driving uh but anyways i just wanted to kind of just give my overall opinion on this car and you know maybe help out a few people who are on the fence or you know maybe uh you know they think evs are garbage you know whatever you know we're polluting the atmosphere by buying these things whatever man yeah you know who cares honestly you know i bought it not to help with the environment but you know i, I can fill it up basically uh at home i've got the wall charger so at home it's like from 10 percent to 80 percent it's maybe five bucks seven bucks depending on the time of day but I love it man I mean you can double tap the stock there and you can see blue lines trajectory lines and then the blue steering wheel means uh, that it's driving so basically it's not full I've got the, the FSD, the full uh, driving computer. So you, every so often it'll ding and you gotta put your hands on the wheel. But tap the brake, it goes off. So it doesn't have the full self driving. Uh, but you know, if you're just cruising on the highway, man, and you wanna just kinda chill out, just put it on cruise and uh, you can. Uh, push left or right well am I crazy no it's the right <laughs> See, it's the right ball just click left and right and then that gives you uh, the distance when you're uh, in autopilot and that's great I don't see how people can you know you watch all these acceleration videos on YouTube and everybody's, you know, giggling, screaming. I mean, honestly, when I when I hit it, it it's like just the G-force pushing against me. And I mean, I get vertigo. I mean, it's 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 legit, man. I mean, uh, it's fast. I mean, 3.1, which I mean, honestly, you're not, never going to get that in perfect condition. So, I mean, you might get 3.3, 3.5, something like that in between. I've actually got the 20s on here, and I'm trying, I'm, I'm thinking about getting 18s and a little meteor sidewall. These 20s are just brutal. They will beat you. I mean, if you're used to it, I mean, it's not going to ride like a Cadillac. I mean, it's a performance model, so uh, the suspension is, is taut. I mean, it's tight, firm, uh, but the 20s, I think, really, really make it uh, too firm. And, you know, uh, depending on, you know, the width, uh, you can get maybe 7 to 13% I've read um, more range. So, I mean, that's great. Uh, just going with, uh, you know, if you can get a lighter wheel, that's even better. You know, less rotating mass. Uh, so I'm looking at that, but, you know, it's Brem the Brembo brakes is what is going to be trouble for you to find something that's going to fit over those because they're they're pretty big believe it or not there's a bunch out there and the ones that are made for a tesla man sticker shock they are expensive um but i love it man i haven't cleaned the seats i haven't even vacuumed it i've lived i mean i've used this thing i mean i've driven it uh six seven hundred miles so far and uh i love it man I can just, it's got literally everything in a car that I would want. And, you know, if you want to mess with anything, you can just tap there and then literally 
because everything is right there at your fingertips. I mean, it's insane. I mean, uh, I'm coming from a G37, which, I mean, it's the sport model too. I mean, it, it you know, I mean, it had everything, literally. And, uh, but going from that to this, I mean, I might as well have been driving, uh, you know, a Yugo or something. Like, it's just insane the amount of tech that's in here, the amount of uh, driver aids that it has. Uh, I mean, people stare, man. I mean, that's cool. I don't mind. I mean, if they're staring because they think it's ugly, that's, that's cool too. But I like it. And it's, I mean, the seats, if you're going to buy one, whether it's used or new, get the white seats. Oh my gosh. Now, I don't know if the, I think these are like a thousand dollars more. I mean, it's definitely an upgrade. These seats are the most comfortable I've ever sat in. I get out of this car, I'm never hurt. It's it, they're great seats, and this traffic is stupid. If you live in, oh, you gonna let me out, bro? No, he's not. Douchebag. What are you doing? Okay, cool, man. Thank you. People are dicks, man. But if you live in the south. And, hang on. Oh, shit. That was insane. Whew. But if you live in the south, man, and traffic, traffic sucks, basically. Like, if you live by the beach, traffic sucks. Anyways, long story short, I like it. Uh, there's really no cons. Other than the 20s, um, I, I mean, I have no cons at all. Love it. And if I'm just cruising on, on good pavement, I, you, you still notice it, but it's not as jarring. But if it's, uh, you know, crappy streets, uh, you're going to notice it and it's going to beat you. So, uh, anyways, thank you for listening to me ramble. I appreciate it. And, uh, I'm going to try to put out some more content. I'm going to do a actual review outside the car. If I can actually get some time to, uh, to film it. Um, but I appreciate it. Hit the like button, subscribe, do all that stuff that uh, you're probably not going to do. But do it, please. It helps me out. It makes me feel good when I get an extra subscriber. I've got so few. So I appreciate it, guys. See you.